If an earthquake happens on Mars and no one's there to feel it, does it exist? It certainly does. Watch. In ancient times, it was believed that earthquakes were caused by restless gods or giant creatures underneath the surface. Early Greeks had a theory that there were gases trying to escape from underground that caused earthquakes. And Isaac Newton, well, he thought explosions of flammable materials were happening beneath our feet. It's modern day, and I'm pretty sure all of those theories are wrong. But did you know that there are quakes in space? Some say Mars quakes are caused by giant space snakes living under the Mars ground. But just to be sure, I'm gonna hang out with geologist and earthquake specialist, Wendy Bohan, at the Incorporated Research Institutions for Seismology to shake out all she knows. I was acting in LA, which meant I worked in a lot of restaurants, and I was asleep one day, and uh, all of a sudden my surfboard fell on my head. It was frightening, but I wanted to know more. And so the next day, I skipped my audition, I drove to the USGS, and I said, let me volunteer here. And then I went back and got my master's degree and my PhD. Hey, How's Danny. it going? Good, Good. how are you? I'm great. I noticed this map behind us. Can you tell me a little bit more about this? Sure. So this is showing historic earthquakes around the world. The size of the dot tells you the magnitude or the size of the earthquake, and the color of those circles tell you about when it happened. Wow. Yeah. And this one shows you data from earthquakes that's coming in in real time. Wow. So I know you are a geologist and you study earthquakes, but what, what does your job mean? Like, what exactly do you do? Well, we want to know exactly where earthquakes are happening, how big they are, and we want to know about their waves in particular. Because when an earthquake happens, it sends waves all through the Earth and across the surface of the Earth. And the waves that go through the Earth tell us about what's inside of the Earth. And so we can learn about Earth's interior structure just from those earthquake waves. So what is an earthquake exactly? Well, the Earth is covered by a thin layer called the crust, and it's broken up into a bunch of pieces called tectonic plates. They're just like a giant jigsaw puzzle floating on the mantle below, which has a texture of thick slime. The plates slowly slide against each other and eventually the rocks break, which sends out seismic waves that cause the ground to shake. And how many earthquakes are there worldwide, let's say, per day? There are hundreds. We don't feel most of them. But for example, California has about 14 earthquakes every day. So a really weird day in California is a day where you don't have any earthquakes. And no, scientists can't predict earthquakes yet but understanding where they happen and how big they can be helps people prepare for when they do happen. And instruments like this do that. NASA has a lander on the surface of Mars that's there to study the geophysical properties of Mars. One of the things they have is a seismometer. That's pretty cool. So it's like almost like Mars quakes. Exactly. They've recorded now three Mars quakes, and it turns out that Mars quakes look a lot more like moon quakes. Are there moon quakes too? Okay. Are there moon quakes too? My planetary mind has just been blown. Who knew there were Mars quakes and moon quakes? What are the main differences between moon quakes, earthquakes, and Mars quakes? Earthquakes happen on Earth mainly because of the plates are moving all around and the places where they come together are the places where we have shaking from an earthquake. On the moon and on Mars, you end up having uh, changes in temperature. It'll get hot and it'll expand a little bit and then the planet will get cold and it'll contract a little bit and that movement actually causes the rocks to break and we think that's what's creating Mars quakes and moon quakes. Why is it important to study all of this? That's a great question. Learning about Mars and the moon can teach us more about how the solar system formed and about the formation and evolution of the rocky planets. So the ancient philosophers were wrong. There aren't restless creatures underneath the Earth's crust causing the Earth to move. Thank goodness, no. Whew, that's a relief because I thought I was gonna have to get them snacks. No, we have to keep all our snacks for ourselves. You wanna go get some snacks? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Great. Now, maybe Wendy can help me figure out if evil spirits live in Brussels sprouts. That's right. They used to think that in the olden days, too. 